Hi YouTubers, it's Tequila again. I am here to do another tutorial on these eyes. It's a turquoise with a brown smoking action going on and then I have lip gloss, um, a blue glittery lip gloss to kind of go with the eyes. So if you want to see how to get these eyes, just stay tuned and watch. Thanks. Okay, so we are going to start with um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I make sure I stay where you can see me. I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. Okay, so then I'm just going to rub that in and bring it into the tear duct area. Okay, just like this. And then I'm going to come in with MAC and haunting and it's a real pretty turquoise color and I'm going to be using this brush I'm just going to dab it all over the lid okay we are going to smoke this with brown I still I'm bringing the blue over all the way over into a rounded shape okay and now I'm going to just bring it into the tear duct area in here and down I tried to do this look, I just want to let you know, I tried to do this look right here one time already and I had to redo it because I tried to use um, this turquoise, this turquoise Tempest from CoverGirl and it just, I used so much of it and it, the turquoise color did not even show up. I mean, I was very disappointed in it. I guess maybe because I'm too fair skinned it, I don't know. But it looks like it would be darker, but the pigmentation of these two are totally different. The MAC is way more pigmented than this CoverGirl, even though it looks like it. So I don't, if you want a very turquoise color, you're not going to get it from this palette with CoverGirl. I don't really use CoverGirl palettes, but I've been looking at this one for a few months, and I wanted to try it, and well, there you have it. So I just wanted to throw that one in there for you. Mm. They can't sue me for saying that, can they? Mm. Oops. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Back to work. <laughs> okay, so we are going to um, bring it into the tear duct. And so I'm at the color I want because I am going to come back in after I do the brown and add a little more. So I just brought it slightly into the tear duct area. Okay. So next palette I use. Okay, and then next I use the Vanity Palette from Wet n Wild, and I use this brown. Okay, I'm going to use this brown, and this brown, and this for highlight. So we're going to be using this palette quite a bit. So with this brush, I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab some brown. Oh, you're looking at me, not the Okay, and then start here and work it in. You see how it looks faded where the blue is coming through that is what I'm looking for okay because next with the same brush I just kind of tapped it off I'm going to come in to this side and we'll grab some of that and I'm going to go over that brown and I'm only grabbing one dab of it so So, 
you should have something that looks like this okay I'm gonna come in and go ahead and do my eyebrow and I'm using this palette that I got from a beauty supply I'm using this brown and the black that's over here okay I love this palette for my eyebrows just a cheap palette so I'm gonna start with the brown And then I'm going to end it with black. Okay. Very simple eyebrows. Okay. Bring the vanity palette back from Wet n Wild. And I am going to be using this one for highlights. So I'm going to grab some of that. And rub it in. Bring it down into the color. Alright, and this is where I'm going to come back in with the uh, MAC Haunting with the same brush I used in the beginning. I'm going to grab some of that and reapply all in this area. And when I get to this part, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth with it. Not very hard. I'm not really pressing the eye too much. I actually think I came over too far with it. So let's try this again. And get some brown. It's an easy fix. It's not all dramatic. This thing with makeup, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. But it's really not that big of a deal, in my opinion. See? I fixed it. Alright. Now, back to what I was doing with the haunting. My cat's at the door meowing. He won't in here with me. Okay, so. You should have something that looks like this. Okay? And this is where it gets fun. I just love, 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 love when I use colors. Colors make things happier. So I am using this Wet n Wild. What is the name of this one? It is a turquoise color. It just says 863 on it, but it's a Wet n Wild um, liquid eyeliner. Okay. And it is not a felt tip. It is on a brush. It's really good. So I'm going to line my eye with that. I'm going to come in with Peacock from MAC. And it's just their eyeliner. So once you have that lined, you're going to come in with um, Mildew from Urban Decay. And it's their eyeliner. And I am going to do the top waterline with that one. Okay. And then back with the liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. This is what I'm doing. I am coming right underneath here. I'm going all the way across with it. And I made a small tail going out. So next I am going to put on my mascara and I'm using Super Shoe Super Shock from Avon. And it's black waterproof. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to be using blush. It's called blushed. And it's a blush from Color Mate. Using my MAC brush for my blush. And it's 187. I actually got a brush with a number on it. And I'm just going to pat that up the cheek like this. Okay. Okay, so it's real, a lot darker than what I would usually do. And you want to come in under your chin if you have a double chin like I do. And just kind of, mm, did it disappear? I am a magician. 
color mate made my double chin disappear. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Okay. Now, you see this lip gloss? It is a glittery blue. I am wearing a, a real light pink color that I got from Ulta. And now, I am going to put some of this blue glitter on it. Sky blue from LA Colors. So, this is the finished look. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you at the next one.